Hi everyone, this is Triple Valve Metro Camel and thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me this past year on uh, YouTube. It's been a really interesting year, I'm sure for many of us. And I want to thank you for all your kind words and comments and I want to wish you a very happy and safe new year and all the best for 2015 to you and your families around the world, wherever you're watching this from. Anyways, um, I'm okay myself, don't worry because you haven't heard from me in a while, I know it's been a few... Uh, a few months or so since I've last done a video. Um, I'm okay with myself but just really haven't had the uh, the cash at the moment to do much in terms of new ideas or buy uh, new items of rolling stock and trains uh, since I've been out of work this year uh, and haven't really had much ideas or inspiration to be honest with you. Um, however this evening I came up with a few little tips and I thought it quite a fitting way to close uh, the last video of 2014 on YouTube. So without further ado I've done some little bits of uh, modeling on the layout. They're not too fantastic but uh, they're quite simple and just really inspired me to look at something I've got already rather than go out and buy something and um, what I could do with an existing project. So without further ado I'll shut up and just uh, take you through what I've done. So the first thing I did um, was add some colour to these little bits of grass I've got going on in the suburban back gardens as you can see there not sure if the camera's going to pick that up okay but all I've done I've just gone over this little grass patch of static grass with some red paint and just painted the tips of the static grass red and thus it gives you the impression of uh, some rose bushes and I've also done the same this little tree thing here in the back garden to give it a little bit of colour and done the same next door They've got some nice little tulips or roses, whatever you want to make of those there. Look quite nice. And also, this house belongs to a railway enthusiast because we've got an old Hornby signal, an old starter signal, home signal on the wall there, and an old loco nameplate from a Hornby Railroad Castle fixed upon the wall there. So we've got a railway enthusiast who lives in this house. Good choice. <laughs> and also... Moving on over to the uh, the Bell Inn pub over here, I decided to liven up the embankment over here a little bit with the same effect by painting the tops of the static grass. This is longer grass, by the way, and just added some red paint, which gives the impression of uh, some flowers there. Again, this is a really simple little effect that you can do, just with whatever colour paint you want to use, yellow, white, um, you name it, you can make your own flowers up. Just paint the ends of your static grass very uh, randomly with a paintbrush and you get that effect. And I think that looks quite good. It's a little bit of colour, I know. And where else have I done? Oh yeah. The most striking makeover the station area has had is that I've repainted the footbridge, which I just finished this evening. So without further ado. Um, in my previous videos, if you look on my channel, you'll see that my footbridge that goes across my platforms is the Dapol um, standard footbridge kit. It's in plain factory grey, which it was like that for about two years until recently tonight. Got the airbrush out, got some Malachite Southern Railway green, and here it is, the new footbridge. I think that looks quite nice actually. It's way better than the factory grey it comes in. Nice green colour. I think that sets it off quite nice. And what I've done with the, the steps and the walkway that go up the footbridge, I've painted those over in uh, round match sleeper grime. The same colour that I use for my uh, general weathering and uh, simulate sort of weathered wooden steps on well, there. I just stuck some uh, tiny signs on there as well. So I'm quite pleased with that. <coughs> I also added the same effect 
the station tubs on the platform by adding a little bit of red paint to the tops of the uh, tubs here. These are all scratch built tubs by the way. Some good old coffee stirrers around a little bit of polystyrene and topped off with some static grass. And I painted the tops of these red to simulate some tulips perhaps or some roses. And thus there as well. And I'm quite pleased with that. There's also one over there as well on the uh, other platform. Oops. So yeah, quite pleased with that. Again, just some silly little ideas that I thought, well, I haven't got to spend out on nothing really. I've got the materials, I've got the paint, and I've got loads of time at the moment, unfortunately. So I thought, well, get on and do something while I uh, wait and get myself back into work next year. Anyways, enough of that. And I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. And I wish you once again a very happy new year. And if you want to see some new videos in the new year, or you want some trains running, a certain type of train or whatever, or just want me to do a, a train running video, uh, give me a shout, and I will certainly do one for you. All the best, and have a happy new year. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. Bye-bye.